so I don't usually do a video of when I clean the cages, but um, I thought that I would do a little video of how I clean uh, the parrot cages. Okay, so they pull out. I get a big uh, trash bag because I've got lots of cages. And then I, um, this is paper that I order, and I roll up the paper. So I'm going to try and get it to sit here. See, it just rolls right up. It's wet right there because the water from the, um, from the bath, the, the, the water high, honey, uh, spilled. Normally, if it's not wet, it just rolls right up like that dry spot there. Once you get the loans paid off, I hope to buy brand new matching cages for them. I really like those corner cages. But one thing about these older, heavier cages is that the, he the metal is much heavier. So maybe I'll just get them uh, powder coated because truly getting them powder coated, these older cages that are heavy metal is, is better than buying the new cages because the new cages are just the metal. It, parrots tear through them. And, now Nemo's cage is in excellent condition. This uh, Ava's cage has some rust on the outside and on the tray where she can't get to, but I'm still gonna try enough. I might get, I have a powder coated parrot cage on my, it's smaller that I might go ahead and temporarily put her in that while I, uh, and I'm gonna have to take this one out and I'm gonna have to redo this cage. I'm gonna paint it and I'm gonna use a rust remover and get it fixed and painted black like Nemo's. So she can get sun and be in a large cage. I have a powder coated cage that's a little bigger than this one. This one's like in brand new condition. Um, that, this is when Nemo came in. Um, but his is a lot bigger now. And then um, Nemo's cage is almost 100% good. There's a rust hole in the tray down here. But that's pretty much it. I mean, the paint isn't great, but there's no, like, rust on it. So that cage is, like, 100, even though it's an older cage. And this one does have some rust, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to take this one out. And this, once the weather's better. Because the rust is on the outside mostly. Like, there's some rust behind the pan here, behind the drink pan on the flat the flat uh, thing that opens and closes on the side where the food bowl goes. and uh, But I'm going to do it during the summer so that she can be in the outdoor cages, which uh, just almost that one outdoor cage is pretty much almost done, which I can finish that up really quick um, and let it completely cure and dry for weeks before they will be even ready to go out. It's almost completely done. The black one that I removed all the rest on last year and then uh, used like a hundred dollars in, in the uh, spray paint that was made by, um, oh, what's that name brand one? Rust-Oleum. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that one's completely cured and hardened and um, and I'll probably put the powder coated cage in here the smaller powder coated cage as you people that have followed me knows the one I got professionally done it's solid steel it's one piece cage it is smaller than this but it's a little bit bigger than that so it'll be okay for her while she's sleeping in it at night and then I'm taking this one outside and I'm gonna rust I'm gonna use rust oleum on this one and then I'm gonna spray paint it black like that one so that both be black I know it'd be great to have them both white but it's really super duper hard hi <laughs> to go from black to white I mean you'll be using like four hundred dollars in spray paint to get it from black to white and uh, I just I can't do that so I do I like the white cages better but unfortunately I, I don't have unlimited amounts of income I only have to work with what I've got but all right let's get back to changing the other pan Roll it up, it's wet because the water was on both cages. No matter whether I can pull out just the grate area, this grate area here, and I can take it, this out right here. This pulls out, clean the bottom grate area so I don't have to pull the whole cage out. And uh, cockatoos are not like cockatiels where they poo all over the bars, so just a quick washing off of where they pooed. Anyway, and so, this is probably going to be a mess in here. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. What are you doing? Beautiful babies. Well, they were all flying around this morning. <laughs> 
but that was making the parrot scream. Hi, this little yellow lemon. Lemon? Fatouche, where are you, Fatouche? Okay, I got on this Fatouche. Oh, Fatouche is with Ollie. Hello, Fatouche. Hello, Ollie. They are actually friends, Fatouche and Ollie, so that's good. Hello, Momo. Hello, beautiful. I have an ouchie, don't I? Okay, so what I was going to show you, look at this cute little waterfall. Okay, what I was going to show you was in here, this is, and I've showed this before, but this is my paper roll. I ordered this on Amazon, and uh, we made this little paper roll cutter because they're so expensive. So it's just basically wood here and wood here with a leather strap and this old perch. This old perch that had like some mold on it. I didn't want to use it anymore. I just used that for the, it's all dried now. I use that for the roll. And this is hard to do with one hand, so excuse me. And I have a marker right here. This mark is for the cages for the cockatiels. And it just comes out like this of their parrot crates. And there, it just rips right up. Hi. What happened? What happened? What happened, Nemo? Was I gone too long? Okay, I'm here. What? I don't see anything. Everything looks normal to me, buddy. Okay, so I got the paste piece of paper. And I just... Let me calm down Nemo. Okay, Nemo came out. So four cross patterns. It's a lot, but uh, normally I only do three, but since she's new, I need to find out where her two spots are. I think it's 500 feet or $21. So I'll do this in fast motion so you guys get to see just the final product. Because parrots eat so many fruits and vegetables, if you don't change it like uh, two to three times a week, then you can get some pretty smelly fruit down there. So you have to kind of really keep on top of it. Oh, there you go. You already pooped, so it's all been broken in, huh? So Nemo just poops in the middle and uh, middle area. So anyway, there it is. There we go. So that's Nemo and Ava's cage. So uh, Nemo dumped out his whole water today when we were in when when we were. Uh, when I was vacuuming, Nemo was in here, and that's how his thing got wet. He also got water, I noticed, in his broccoli and cauliflower. But hey, he ate some. Uh, they got oranges again, radishes, uh, cucumbers, and um, this is Nemo's little snack seed pellet area. And he still has not even torn this off. I think he thinks everything I give him is a decoration, huh? You think everything I give you is a decoration, huh? But it's a toy for you to chew and play with. Oh, you got some in your nose? Yeah, hi. I'm gonna finish cleaning. I know you wanna step up, but I'm gonna finish cleaning, okay? And Ava, Ava, I gave her lots of almonds. She did get a few french fries. She only ate one. Um, hi, Ava. Hello, Ava. And oranges. She did eat one orange this morning, so I was happy about that. And there's not much more play. Oh, she did tear up that one other toy down there. Nemo's very curious about what I'm doing. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Are you saying hello to Ava? Yeah, you just want to come to me, don't you? Yes, you do. I love you, too. So, <laughs> it gets hot. You're beautiful. You Here, let's go ahead and, oh, he knows. He knows. He's like, oh, you were faster than me. Yep, back in your cage for now, because I have other cages to clean. Nemo likes to, like I said, eat the, the couch, so Nemo can't be out, but Ava can while I clean the rest of the cages, so we'll let Ava out. Ava can be out while I clean the cages, because she usually stays on her cage. Okay, Ava's cage is open. I found this at the bottom of Ava's cage. Ah, looks like a crest feather from her head. Hopefully, um, just because the ones on her head have that broken spot, hopefully it just fell out from a molt and she didn't pluck it. But, hello baby. Hello, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go clean Num Num's cage, and I've got to clean Shadow and Chica. 
Okay, so it's so much easier with the cockatiel cages. Hello, Num Num. I'm gonna clean. Oh, it's nice and warm. I got the heater blowing directly on her and this side open so that the heat. Hi, baby girl. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Wow. Hello, your leg looks better, darling. I'm gonna clean your cage, replace all your millet. Hello. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful num num. Hello, angel. Hello, angel. Wow, the redness has gone way down. Look at that. Okay, so she gets another dose here when I get done cleaning cages of spray. I know you don't like it, but hey, it's nice and warm in here, huh, baby? I'm going to rearrange her toys, clean her cage, and you know, I put the heater directed there so it got trapped underneath there so it was nice and warm for her. So these cages are really easy to clean. I love how easy these cages are clean. That's one of the reasons why I get them. When you have a whole bunch of birds, ease is the name of the game. The tray is super light. It pulls right out. And my sheet is only 20 inches by uh, 16. So it fits perfectly because those rolls are only, oh, 24. It's 23. But those rolls come in 24. And I just get 17 inches. And it's super easy. I can do all their cages super fast. Which is what you need when you got a lot of cages. Num Num's moon. And her rocks. Oh, hi! What happened? Oh! Did Cockatiel come in here and <laughs> fly by you? It's okay, Ava. It's okay. Good girl. Did the Cockatiel come fly by you? Yeah! Hey, that was scary, huh? So Nemo likes to do this on purpose. If he makes enough noise, all the birds from the aviary will fly out here. <laughs> Hi! It's vacation, Ollie! Num Num's calling out now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so, Nemo, Nemo, Nemo knows if he upsets the cockatiels, they'll all fly out here, and he loves that. Look at Ava. Ava's like, I'm going inside. I just missed all the birds flying out here. Super cool. But for now, I'm just going to vacuum it. My handy dandy vacuum seen better days but it's been with me for a long time it works really well i'm gonna get in there and vacuum out the crumbs i take the sticks and i just kind of wipe them down and get all the yucky stuff off of it i'll wipe their sticks down and i'll wipe the cage down with wet washcloth after vacuuming and we're good to go Okay, so I get these little Zoomag uh, mineral blocks. They're um, made with uh, with uh, mealworms, and I find that they love these. Along with her uh, other uh, cuddle bone, I like to have these in the cages at all times. They go through these really fast. I like them. The ingredients aren't the best, but you know, at this point, you can't really find organic stuff. And it does have mealworms in it, and they like that. I know I've mentioned these before. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, so it is done. The cage is all clean. I moved her favorite toy over here by her. And hi, Num Num. Hello, precious angel. And I got her other toys filled off, filled up her food, her fresh food. And I put the mineral block there next to the, the uh, cuddle bone, fresh water. This time it does not have Benadryl in it. And all's clean. So that's great. We are ready to do your second spray for the day. <laughs> So I will get that in another video for uh, posting separately because this is a video about cleaning cages. And it's getting late, so I have to go because I've got to go pick up the prescription. But hi! Hi, Ava! And Ava and Nemo got their cages done too, so that's progress. And uh -huh, yep, we got some stuff done today, huh, pretty girl? Hello! Hi, Peekaboo! <laughs> Oh, you're so cute! Peekaboo! Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love your dance. I love it. Hi, pretty girl. You're so beautiful. Hi, you're beautiful, too. Hi, beautiful. 
Hello, I'd let you out, but you chew up the couch. I love you. Hello, beautiful. Okay, so we are done. Hello, hi. Hi, hello. Hi. <laughs> you stepped up. Hi. I love you. Mwah. Kiss. Mwah. You're so sweet. I love you. You can do your dance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a compilation of all of your cute little dances. I'm going to compile it with a music song. Oh, yeah, she pushed my head away with her foot. It's so cute. But we do have to get in here because I've got to go for a car ride. What is that? Step up. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Step up. Step up. Step up. Go on. Go get it. Oh, she, she won that round. She won that round. Come step up. Good girl. I love you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay, let's try this again. What is that? Good girl. Good girl. I won that round. I have to go, Ava. So, since I have to go, you have to be in your cage. Since you, I have to go, you have to be in your cage, but I'll be back because no one can watch you while I'm gone. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to go get her prescription, finish cleaning up here. Oh, I've got to spray her the second time with her apple cider vinegar stuff, but I'll get that in a bit different video.